Hello all, and welcome to Wayne's Allotment. Um, just about to go through the gate of our allotment site and uh, I'll just spin you around and show you one of the many signs that is uh, dotted around or that are dotted around on our site with regards to COVID-19. There you go, that is what we, that's Partly the government guidelines along with um, our local council, one or two little bit of things extra. But uh, these signs are dotted around the site uh, and everybody's, uh, everybody, I can honestly say everybody's adhering to the uh, um, keeping themselves away and so on, the social distancing. Um, it all seems to be working well, but it's really strange times that we're living in at the moment. Well, hello all. Uh, so what have I got for you this time round? Well, I get my potatoes in. That's my number one job. Um, I also get, I've got some shallots that need to go in. And... <laughs> I'll let you decide whether I get assistance, whether it's help or hindrance, with regards to some seed sowing that I do. I'll say no more, but all will be revealed as you watch the video. Uh, I hope you're all keeping safe in these, uh, these strange times we're living in. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe. If you subscribe, hit the bell and you'll be notified every time I put a new video up. And if you leave a comment, I can guarantee you I'll get back to all comments. So uh, it is very much appreciated that people just watch my videos. Uh, and it's nice when you leave a comment. So without further ado, let's crack on. Thanks a lot. Right, so here we have it. Wilco two-tier easy blooming basket display. As you can see... As the name suggests, two two baskets. It's it's, it's basically like two hanging baskets uh, fastened together. I have got a three tier version of this, but that's got different uh, baskets on it than these. Um, and, and I'm not too sure when I bought this. I think I think I've had this over twelve months. <laughs> To be, I don't know about you, you guys, but I, my memory can be very hit and miss at times. And I can buy things and then forgot, forgot what I've done with them. But anyway, let's let's have a look, see what we've got in here. So there's the the legs. Well, there's the baskets, two obviously two different sizes, and the the foot. There's nothing else in there, so we'll put that down there out the way. This is looking quite straightforward enough with regards assembly. I don't know what these. Let's have a look what these are and why these are in here. Ah, I see. I see. 
I can I'm assuming that that the leg will screw into then the basket will be on top of that so that it gives it a bit of support stop it wobbling around too much it might tell me that in here see what I was saying about forgetting things <laughs> well if I could open this up I might be able to tell you where it's ah yes the good old destructions and I was right yeah just those little shall we say collar things oh right well we'll we'll have this together in no time at all famous last words this is where I find out now that something's missing <laughs> right There's a long leg, and as you can see, look, long thread on one end and a short thread on the other. So I'm going to have to look at the destructions quite carefully. Let's put that up there out of the way. So the short leg goes in the bottom, and that screws straight into there. So we'll get that. screwed in that goes in that way up with the big basket on it and then that screwed into there I'm going to have to put this together outside, I can see. There we go. You can't see what I'm doing. Right. Well, I think I'm going to have to uh, change things around so you can see exactly what's going on here because I'm going to have to have a move around in the greenhouse because it's too too big for you to see everything that's going on. Right, I've come out of the greenhouse. You can see me coal frame in the background there. Uh, I've assembled what I could of that before we touch the roof of the greenhouse. So the next job now is to put these last finishing touches on, which is that plate, large washer and a wing nut. And there we have it. Uh, these looks like they'll clip out for putting plants in so uh, yeah quite pleased so there we have it that's the two tier planter all put together uh, very straightforward quite quite sturdy uh, that won't be planted up yet for a while uh, but it, it now it's assembled it'll be uh, It'll probably be put in the shed actually to keep it out of the way for now and then a uh, little bit later on month two I would think we'll start and get something into that right as you can probably see behind me you can see the first of the many trenches uh, I'll, uh, I'll walk along and show you what I've done and explain what's going to happen with it all right here we go there is the trench all dug out that's the first of the charlotte's going to go in here and then i'll dig another trench two foot six go along and then we'll have kinglet and so on uh, what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to put some bone meal into the bottom of that 
and a little bit of pelletised chicken muck. Work that in, put the seed potatoes in, partly backfill and put a bit more bone meal, then fill it and then move on to the next trench. So I'll show you what I'm doing with these in here. So there we have it, all the way along, see, all sown, they will now be covered, partly, or partly covered should I say, they'll be partly covered, a little bit more bone meal put on, then we'll move on to the next row. Well, I don't know what happened there, uh, today, Today is Monday, the 6th uh, of April. Yesterday was Sunday the 5th, obviously, and I'd filmed putting my potatoes in yesterday, and I don't know, with me stopping and starting with the filming, I don't know what, but I didn't film an overview of my finished potatoes. So I've come round to do other jobs as well, not just to film this. But I've come around to do some other jobs, uh, so I'll spin you around and I'll show you um, the finished potatoes. Right, there we go. That's everything all in. There's a row of charlottes, which are second earlies, not first earlies. Uh, two rows of uh, King Edward and a row of Sarpomera. Uh, the Sarpomera only finish about there they haven't got a full row that's only because I've got to, I think I've got nine potatoes that was all um, but yes that's the uh, seed potatoes all put in So there we have it, that's um, 
all Michelots in. The variety is Golden Gourmet. Um, they've just been watered and the little bit of extra compost that was in the, the seed trays that they were in I've just scattered that over the ground uh, to help put a bit of goodness in the soil so uh, that's me shallots in right next job on is beetroot and some carrots right what I've done there I've put the line down I've made a a larger than normal trench because I'm now going to or seed drill should I say so I'm now going to put some spent compost into that seed drill water it sow the seed cover it with spent compost and do the next two rows the same Out.
and there we have it all done two rows of beetroot first row is cilantro middle row is boltardy then the end row is carrot early nantis uh, I was going to put the compost in water then sow the seed but the compost is quite wet or fairly moist shall we say so I've just put it in and uh, sown the seed covered up and then uh, watered when I've finished so that's another little job done with some beetroot and some carrots well that's it for this one thank you all very much for watching please take care look after yourselves look after each other and I'll see you again in the next one thanks a lot